Welcome back. Um, so the next effect we're going to talk about in this video series is the time ramp. Um, and so if you watch the clip I have here, um, this is just a drone clip flying over these guys' heads and then it ramps up and exposes this really cool uh, terrain behind it. So again, we fly in, boom, just like that, okay? Pretty easy effect, but adds just a lot of cool coolness to your video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the clip that I want to apply this effect to and I'm going to just going to drag this up and there you can see is my um, my time ramp and the way to do this is um, let's go into our tutorial here and let's let's apply this effect now to um, one of the clips that we edited earlier and I'm just going to drag this out so we've got more to work with. So again we'll drag this up and we're going to right click show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit P on our keyboard, and this is gonna allow me to add a point here. And, and then maybe I'll finish it over here, okay? And I'm just gonna hit plus on my keyboard to zoom in a little bit, and then I'm just gonna go back to my, my mouse tool here, my selection tool. Now, you've, you've basically cut this clip up, and you've allowed yourself to grab this middle piece and drag it way up to play with the speed. Um, so you'll notice it immediately shortens the clip and if we play, you'll see right when it hits that point, it speeds up and then it slows down and goes back. So we're gonna play with this a little bit more. We're gonna just make the speed much more dramatic. And then what we can do is on these end points here, we can drag this to make this a little bit smoother. So you'll see I'm giving it a little bit of a ramp up and that will kind of just ease in and ease out of our ramp. Just something like that. And then let's make it even more dramatic. And just shh. All right. So this is just to show you how to apply the effect. Now you also have to be creative and think about where this makes sense. So if we go back to this original clip, it made a lot of sense to not just slowly transition from the ground and, and my guys here in the foreground and slowly ascend to show this uh, glacier in the background and then this big glacial river valley but to get there quickly to make it match the music so if I show you this again boom so that way I can get everything I can get everything I want done and accomplish in my clip and splice it to the music and I didn't miss anything. It's just a, a fun way of throwing you around and, and, and creatively taking you from one area of your scene to another without wasting a lot of time. So um, super easy tutorial. Hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for the next one and uh, we'll start getting into the, the last couple effects I used here.